Every day we are getting a new version of Dynamic Island application for Android by some developer and this one by far has to be the best. Why? Because this works on your lock screen, this works on your home screen, this works for your normal notifications including your messages and your phone calls. However, it does have a few drawbacks like when you tap on it, if the music is playing then you do not get the music app opening or a cool looking animation without any further delay let us go ahead install this dynamic island on our android device of course all the relevant links are in the description of this video so to install this new dynamic island app which works on your home screen and on your lock screen as well you need to download any file manager which will let you install apks Download the Dynamic Island APK linked in the description of the video and all you need to do is install that application. Now once the application has installed successfully, if you open your application drawer, you will see an app with this icon. Unfortunately, the app is in Chinese and there is no English translation at the time of recording this video. We are going to open the app. As you can see, it wants access to photos, media, and files. We are going to say allow. Next thing it is telling us is that read the privacy policy. So select this option, read it in case you want to. So this here is the main user interface of this dynamic island application which works on your Android device, the home screen and the lock screen so you have to enable the master toggle on the top right once you enable the master toggle on the top right it is going to tell you that you need to enable some permissions we are going to say okay so bam here it is these here are the different permissions the first one i think is for accessibility so we are going to select this and next up we are going to select the downloaded apps section and this here is the application and enable the master toggle of course i am running a super secure operating system called miui so i have to wait for 10 seconds before i can select ok and here it is now i can select ok and we can go back once we are back, you see the check mark. Similarly, for the next one, display over other applications. Again, scroll down, look for the application, enable this toggle, and then we can go back. Then this one I think should be your notification access. Again, select the application and then enable the toggle. Again, super secure operating system MIUI. I have to read all of it and wait for 10 more seconds okay now i can select okay and then we can go back now these other permissions which you see at the bottom for starters i do have a screenshot which has translated this into english which can be found in the description of this video so from my experience these are optional and these are just to make sure that the app is not killed in the background so eventually if you like it then feel free to enable these permissions for now we are going to skip that and we are going to go back here in we need to enable the master toggle and bam there it is you can see now we can enable that app without any issues you do have your dynamic island or dynamic punch hole on the top left now this thing can be moved around so here it is you can see i can move it towards the right towards the center wherever i want to using this slider then this one over here is to make it wider or taller here it is you can see i can make it wider or i can make it taller however you want to do it the next thing you can do is to change it to longer here it is here and you can make it longer and then this again you can make it wider or you can use a smaller one and then we can move it around over here and then with this one you can move it up or down now once you have reached an appropriate setting feel free to stop over there then you can always test out the notifications so this here is a demo of you getting your bluetooth device connected this is a demo of your ringer mode this here is a demo of the charging this here is you getting any other notification this here is a demo of the music player the next thing you can do is you can always tap on this settings icon beside the master toggle once you go inside over here you will have a bunch of other options so this one over here is the 
time duration and this one over here is to disable your system notifications so that you do not get dual notifications and there it is peeps that is how you install the latest dynamic island app on your android device which works on the home screen and on the lock screen and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you